Tempo is an instrument that will measure atmospheric pollution uh, over greater North America, from the Atlantic to the Pacific, from the Mexican oil sands to below Mexico City. It will do that every daylight hour. Tempo will be looking at um, multiple species. Uh, for example, we will be looking at ozone. Uh, additionally, we will look at formaldehyde, uh, nitrogen dioxide, uh, glycol, sulfur dioxide, and some of these could be uh, due to man-made um, effects or fires, or um, obviously, as you know, nitrogen dioxide will be high over urban areas comparing to not so urban or industrial areas. These have big impacts on, on human health, on ecosystem health, on um, agricultural crops that can be affected by these pollutants. And it's really important to understand um, what's going on, how they're transported across states or across boundaries um, between countries, um, and where they're coming from, and how they change over time. And for the first time with Tampo, we'll be able to really get a good uh, observation of how things are changing over the course of the day that we haven't been able to do before from space. And also we have the resolution at the ground that will actually be able to detect source, individual sources and um, look at, at pollution in individual neighborhoods. From that, we will be able to derive UV index, air quality index for each zip code. So if you, if you decide you are a high car, you want to go biking, you want to go to the beach, you will be able to see that over your zip code, which or over your small geographical location, which hasn't been done before. We will decide what it measures and when. Uh, the usual measurements will be hourly during daylight from Atlantic to Pacific, but we can do some high time resolution measurements as well. For, for example, when, when dust storms, fires, hurricanes, whatever comes up, we can, we can zero in on those at even higher time resolution. So climate change and, and air quality are really intimately related. Um, so some of these molecules that we're measuring in the atmosphere, some of these gases, these particles are also really important for understanding climate change. But as well, a lot of these pollution sources are emitting uh, greenhouse gases as well. And so it's really essential to kind of understand what's going on with these pollution sources, but also um, provide data to the community, the science community on the gases that we can measure so they can understand, better understand the atmosphere and the, the chemical transformations in the atmosphere. I've been working uh, uh, in atmospheric measurements for many, many years and for atmospheric measurements in space since 1985 and we, we've had a lot of great stuff that we've done. Uh, but we never had an instrument that, that really belonged to us and did exactly what we wanted it to do before. So we proposed this, it was accepted and funded, and in uh, and, and less than a year we will uh, launch and, and be making these measurements. It's very exciting. I have been involved with multiple missions. This is the first mission that I've been involved with since the beginning. And it will be finally a wonderful opportunity to see it in space and actually look at the data coming down from it. It's just really exciting. To, we're going to finally see the data and uh, it's all going to come to fruition and, and, and other people are really excited about it too, other scientists and, and people who work in the air quality field doing forecasting and, and um, health studies. So yeah, it's, it's really exciting. It's terrific. It, it's been a long slog. It's been a lot of work by many, many people, some of whom are here and then some are at NASA and some are at other institutions. Uh, so it's a great relief and it's something that the atmospheric community is very, very much looking forward to.